Hey YouTube friends, SurvivalCraft here. This is my Magnet Tactical Samish Stiletto, and I have a review on it that I did a while back, and I really like this knife, especially since it's a good knife for the money. You're only going to pay about $25, and you get an excellent fixed blade knife that is easy to sharpen, easy to maintain, and also is really resistant to corrosion. So in this video, I'm going to show you some of the modifications I did to the Magnet Tactical Samish Stiletto that make it a bit more ergonomic, a bit easier to deploy, and a little bit more versatile. The tile. Now as useful as the Magnet Tactical Knife is, sometimes I'd like a few other tools. And so what I did is I attached the Leatherman Micra to the outside of the sheath. I did so using paracord that I weaved back and forth through the slots here in the side of the sheath. And then I just capped the paracord off with a simple knot and melted it together. Now what this does is it keeps the Micra in there and allows me to kind of slip it out whenever I need it. In hindsight, I wish I used elastic cordage because it is a little bit difficult to get the Micra in and out. But still, this is a good way to keep a small multi-tool on the outside of the sheath. To help deploy the knife, I put some stippling here on the retention system. And what this allows me to do is when I put my fingers back here to press, it allows me to find it easier because I, I feel that roughness, but also it gives me a little bit of extra grip so I can push that away from the knife and pull the knife out. Now the plastic of the sheath didn't really take to uh, melting very easily. So you may want to, instead of using the soldering tool, you may want to use something like a Dremel tool, whatever, and just rough that area up a bit. That may be a bit easier if you have one. Now one of the things I didn't like about this knife is it doesn't have any jimping up top. So when you put your thumb, you rest your thumb up here, it tended to slide around a lot, especially when wet. So what I did is I took an old engraving tool and I just stippled the top of the thumb rest here. And it's nothing aggressive, but what it does is it roughens the metal up so that I have a place to rest my thumb where I get a decent amount of traction. This just allows a bit more friction on the spine. After that, I stippled the handle, and I decided only to do the outside of the knife and not the interior here. And the reason is, is because I want to be able to put my fingers here and spin the knife from a saber grip to a pit grip if I have to have it. So I didn't want any stippling in this area. So the first thing I did is I took a pencil and I made an outline all the way around this knife. And that enabled me to get a really crisp, clean line with my stippling and also to keep it symmetrical for both sides of the knife. Then I came in with a soldering tool, and instead of poking the soldering tool deep into the plastic, what I did is I moved it in a swirl pattern. And what this did is it gives me kind of a medium textured uh, stippling. It's not anything too aggressive so that it hurts if I'm using this without gloves, but it gives me a rough surface to promote friction, which is what I wanted. So those are some of the modifications you can do to your Magnet Tactical Samish Stiletto or any plastic handled knife. Uh, hopefully you like this. If you do, please share and like this video. And as always, subscribe. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, gripes, complaints, anything like that, put them in the comment section below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And as always, thank you guys for watching and have a great day.